name is Adam Winrich, and this is a video about the intro to the Blues Traveler song, A Runaround, played by John Popper. I'm using a stock C Special 20. And the song is in the key of G. And uh, some things, I'll uh, talk about it. Uh, basically, John Popper is playing a pentatonic scale. He includes the uh, fourth interval of the scale, but he never plays seven or five draw. He never plays five draw. That'll sound out of place if you're uh, improvising along to this song. Um, so I guess first I'll just start uh, playing through the solo just uh, slowly, and then I'm going to talk about some stuff that I found interesting about uh, this example of John Popper's playing. So probably from the start, uh, the cool thing is it starts on 8-draw. How many other examples of harmonica playing do you know where the guy starts on 8-draw? And that's one thing that uh, I hear in John Popper's playing a lot, is that he gets a lot of mileage out of holes 8, 7, and 6. Uh, a lot of harp players, myself included, spend a lot of time trying to get all the juicy nuances out of the bends in holes uh, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, but John Popper spends a lot of time and has a lot of interesting ideas in holes 6, 7, and 8. So that's something I find really interesting about his playing. And uh, one cool little thing that he gets out of holes um, 6, 7, and 8 to help make it uh, get more melodic interest out of it is he's got this little thing he repeats a couple times where he's doing 7 blow, 7 draw, 7 blow, 7 draw as a little repeat. So I think of that little line that he plays as sort of like a car that's spinning its wheels and getting ready to get going, boom, and then it gets some momentum. So it's something he plays as a sort of little building of a tension point. And uh, Sonny Boy Williamson does something similar to that in Help Me, but he's using holes uh, three and four. And uh, some parts I find interesting about this are the melodic leaps that John Popper makes. Um, let's see. The first one he makes is kind of going from two draw to four blow. So I'll start at the beginning and then uh, stop at that part. So that's a pretty cool leap to make. And then he makes another leap where it's sort of like a sort of a rhyming type thing where you take an element and you repeat it, but you change it a little bit so they sort of echo each other. So he's doing. So he's, um, so in the first one, he's going from two draw to four blow. And then in the next one, he goes from six blow up to eight blow, which is a cool leap to make. And also in that uh, last little lick you played, which is probably the fastest part of this intro, uh, I think it's interesting there you hear the bebop influence in John Popper's playing. If you watch the great YouTube series John Popper did with Howcast, I think it is, he talks about beboppers would take a melody and then try to see how many notes they could squeeze into the melody to make something as elaborate as possible. And so John, in this part, starts on, uh, he plays eight blow, eight draw, seven blow, and then normally you just keep going down. But instead, uh, to squeeze some more notes in there and add more interest, it's um, eight blow, eight draw, seven blow, and then it's six draw, seven draw, six draw, and then back to seven blow. So where most people would probably just play something goes and just make it a real linear phrase, he's doing <laughs> So 
so that makes it more interesting and I think that's probably the fastest part of the song and um, or the fastest part of this intro. That's what I think is interesting about this introduction. And I'm going to finish out uh, playing over some tab that I wrote out to help people uh, see what I think the notes are. And for anyone trying to learn John Popper's style of playing, I strongly recommend you get the amazing Slow Downer app. Uh, of course, I've been, John Popper's been around as long as I've been playing harmonica. And I can't have a really hard time hearing his stuff when it's at full speed. And, sometimes, and so the only way I can really hear what he's doing is when I put it in the amazing Slow Downer app, slow it down to quarter speed, and then sit there for like a week at a time, just like, what note is that? And then it helps me to write everything out as I try to think what note it is. And then as I go back over it, I can check my notes and then think, oh, it could have been this or it could have been that. And then as I keep playing it over and over again, uh, I get a better idea of what I think fits best over that solo. Uh, so here's some tab, and my name is Adam Winrich. Good luck. <laughs>